Hey, how you doing? It's Ken Barrett. I uh, haven't done some videos from the car in a while. I just got a new mount. So uh, we're trying it out. The other one was uh, a little vibrating. Didn't really work too well. Um, I've been listening to some uh, podcasts from Tim Ferriss. Uh, a particular one was listening to. They were discussing uh, about hardcore history and uh, the podcaster behind that. I'll put the links below here to some of the episodes I've been listening to. But they were talking about... Um, podcasting and style and video style and you know what you should do and what you should be like and the the general discussion is is that a lot of times when people start out they're they're trying to be what they think they should be as opposed to being who they are so I've noticed myself different times where I'll feel like I I start talking a little bit different or I start getting a little more formal than I would normally talk and you know you're trying to edit words out. You want to edit out some of the stuff so you're not hitting too many uh, you knows, you knows, and um, ah, and a. Hey. But uh, generally, you just you want to be yourself. So whenever you do a video or a podcast or an audio recording, you don't have to stop and think about who you are. You can just go ahead and, and make it. Think about the the content you want to put down, and just dive right in. There was a a posting on a Facebook group a few days ago where somebody had asked up there, I guess what this guy had been noticing recently is a lot of videos people are doing, they're posting them up on their blogs, but they're not putting dates on them. Or they're, they're, they've somehow set it up that it doesn't really put a date to it. And the question was, do you want to put them up with dates or just leave them without the dates? And I replied back to it that you're going to want to put the dates on them uh, for a couple of reasons. One, a lot of times when you search for something, you may come up with a video or, or something that's could be at this point six, seven years old. And sometimes what it is is still relevant, or it might be what's considered an old idea that people just really haven't picked up on. Now, if you're looking into some sort of software video or how-to, that's maybe not going to work. But it gives you that reference to go back and say, yeah, you know, what they were talking about isn't relevant now because I've had too many upgrades, etc. But the the main part of it is you want to be able to go back yourself. You can go back and look at some of your first videos and laugh at those and go, man, I can't believe anybody even watched these. And uh, the other way is you really don't want, want, as you get better at it and you get more comfortable with yourself doing the videos or the podcast, etc., you start getting better information. You start having a, you know, you may build more of a, a formality to your your episodes, your shows, and you, you get into more of a groove with it. You don't want people to confuse that with an older one that was just random. Because at that point, they might watch a few of yours and go, man, this guy's really good, and then see another one going, okay, was he just really good on those couple, but he's really a maniac and he's all over the place, or what's going on? But if they can see the date stamps, they can say, oh, okay, that's where he went back to, that's where he started at. And what they can also realize is, hey, he started there, and now he's here. Now he sounds polished, like he knows what he's doing, when he knows what he's talking about. But where he started two months ago, six months ago, three years ago, however long it was, he just sounded like I did. He was stumbling over words. He was, you know, kind of random and wasn't really sure where he was going sometimes, or he might have been talking about something and then swung way back in another direction. So you want to keep those dates up there. You want to just, again, be able to go back to yourself and look at them and laugh at how how rough and tumble you used to be making videos and how much you've improved. And then really decide at that point, have you become more of yourself or are you trying to become more of somebody else? And hopefully you're becoming more yourself and more comfortable with yourself and better with your subject matter so you're able to you know, present who you are. So if people run into you, they're not going, well, you're not the guy. You know, I've been watching on the videos. Who are you? You don't, you know, you don't sound like him. You don't talk like him. Um, you know, if you run into me, chances are this is how I'm going to talk. I'm going to stumble over a few words, say things a little wrong, maybe stop and try and get my brain back into gear on the right trail. But that's my style. You might like it, you might not. But everybody has their own, and everybody looks at stuff from their own world point of view. So just a little hint there. You know, keep your titles, keep your videos, leave everything up there once you get it up there and it'll give you that chance to be able to go back and laugh at it and, you know, just see how far you've improved and 
be that inspiration to other people who, you know, they wonder, hey, how do I start into this? I'm not that smooth. I'm not that polished. I don't have all that good equipment. Most of you know, I do a lot of this stuff on just my iPhone. And, you know, these might look horrible in a year because I got a new phone or maybe I do upgrade on microphones or cameras. But that's it for today. I got to head back and uh, finish up a little bit of stuff and then go pick up the kids. So have a great day and we'll talk to you later on.